Robert Bow, what's up? Review this. Got this uh, next package in for another starboard bow. Review this. It's a big box. It's a heavy box. Okay. Got a little power cable there. Uh-oh, solar, solar cable. The English instructions are on page 13. Now remember guys, I do these reviews just like you and me. Pull them out of the box, we pull them open, we try to use them, we see how easy it is to use it, how easy it is to set it up, how easy it is to understand it. You know what? All I care about on Starboard Bound review this, is this a good item for you and me? Pulling it out. Okay, let's pull it out, put it up on the desk here. Let's see what it's all about. Oh, it's going to be a little heavy here, so I'm going to give you a little heads up on what it is. Look at that, ocean. Ocean front, baby. Not $300 a night, not $250 a night, not $98 a night, but... Uh, zero dollars a night right on the ocean beautiful day a little windy but that's what i'm doing this inside i'm gonna try and run this 30 amp rv off of this 22 2000 watt portable power station give me about a uh, couple hours i want to charge this thing up before i get back to you guys all right i turned the power on right here look at that led is that beautiful that LED is beautiful. Discharge remaining in hours. It says 99 hours left, 100%. Input, output, and watts. Then you have uh, 60 hertz. That's good. It's set up for USA, 100%. It's a beautiful looking case. Got beautiful, strong handles. Little cases here. Uh, you got the uh, six AC outlets. On the side there, rated at 2,000 watt. Total peak time, 4,000 watts. 100 volt to 120 volt, 50 to 60 hertz. And there's your uh, your solar connector right there. That's the XT60 that we were talking about earlier. 500 watt, watt max, that's awesome. 500 watts you can put in this thing. Charge this baby up. It's a beautiful case, there's your fan. Then you got your overload protection button right here. That's gonna probably pop off if I'm messing around way too much. Emergency flasher, regular light, Morse code, SOS. Pretty bright light too, guys. And uh, the USB, like I said before, you got two type C's, two quick charge ports, 3.0, and then a five volt, 2.4 amp. Great thing about this type C is 100 amp. I'm able to uh, charge my laptop, but we're gonna give that a shot and see. Uh, we got over here, we got, uh, that's the uh, XT60 connector for your solar. 12 volt, 3.8 barrel connectors right here. And then you got your basic uh, car lighter charger, 12 volt, right there. So, boom. That goes over the different connections. Pretty simple, huh, guys? Ace volt, 2001. My uh, laptop charging. You can see that little LED light there, that little orange light flashing. You can see that. I got it plugged into the uh, AC port. You got the AC LED lit right there. And it's 12, looks like 12 watts out. Output's around 15, 16. It says. I got about 31 hours of uh, charging left. Let's see what we got here. We got the my uh, speaker, Bluetooth speaker. Let's try this. Oh, let's turn it on first. Look at that. Got USB going. So I got uh, the USB 2.4 alpha going. I got the laptop going, which is using the uh, power AC. And it's get about it says about 3,800 watts out, and I got about 22 hours of charging left. Then we have uh, 
my phone here. Let's try this on this quick charge port. Oh, just went down to 20, 19. Now I'm on 59, 61, 62, 63. It's going up and it's going up. See right here? 67 watts. I got about 16 hours of charging. Still at 100%. Let's check it out, see what happens when I pull this out. Just without the quick charge port back up to uh, it's getting up there moving up to uh, 19 hours outputs about 51 watts let's try the regular port here see what happens uh, it's about 58 58 58 out 58 watts regular charge 18 hours 58 watts can't be so let's unplug the laptop. Drops down to 11 watts. And a lot of hours left. Let's see what happens. Oh, there you go. I'm using Type-C now. That's off. Okay, USB still going. Got 12 watts going. 71, 74, 76. So I'm charging my laptop on the regular USB, take it out of the AC, which is going to be using more power, I guess. It's only 12 watts coming out right there. And I like the fact that I'm switching in and out, doing all this stuff, and everything seems very self-explanatory. Um, very. What else can I throw on this thing? Oh, gosh. Of course. Got to throw my TV on this baby to see what happens. My TV down here let's see how many hours and normally i take when i'm boondocking i'll take the tv and i'll plug it into that 12 volt outlet up there you see that little that little outlet right there with my charge my converter and uh it, you know it runs off the house battery so let's see what we can do here with this uh ace volt oh. hmm. What we got? We got 44 hours left. 12 watts. I plugged it in, but AC's going, USB's going. Let's turn the TV on, see what happens. Got the remote right here. I got the TV going on right now. She's dropping. Oh boy, output's coming up. 43 watts. 21 hours left. Shit, I can watch TV for 21 hours without using my house battery. I'm okay, because usually I do two hours, three hours a night. That's not bad. And I got uh, 42 watts out and uh, 21 uh, hours, 21 watch time hours. Bam! Can't beat that. We're looking pretty good. We got the laptop connected to the quick charge port. We got the Bluetooth speaker connected to the regular 2 amp, 2.4 amp. Uh, USB. I got the TV connected to the one of the AC ports, and look at that TV's on, up and running. And with everything going, I got 21 hours left to watch. This Ace Volt 2000 amp is beautiful. I'm loving it. It's got a UPS feature. Those of you uninterruptible power supply feature. What it, with your little power supply right here plugged into the wall of your house, and then you have the this right here, obviously pretty self-explanatory. This plugged into, uh, you know, the charger right here, here. But it's basically, if you lose power in your house, um, like say you get something from the electric company, say, hey, we're gonna lose power at two o'clock in the morning, just to let you know. Before you go to sleep, you take this Ace Volt, plug it into the wall using that part there. You get your, key, your refrigerator, Plug your refrigerator into one of these AC ports, your house refrigerator, and then when you lose power at night, the Ace Volt's going to take over and charge and run your refrigerator until the power comes back on. You're, and even though you have your refrigerator plugged in here tonight, and you have that power and that edge right there plugged into your into the power supply into the wall, you're not using any any power or anything right now. 
But you know what I'm saying? This will take over when the power's off, just to let you know. That's that's what's Just to let you guys know also, I charged this thing up when I, when, when I uh, got it out of the box, brought it to the house, charged it up. It charged, you know, probably about, uh, using a wall sock in your house, it, it took about two hours, two and a half hours to charge this thing all the way up to uh, 100%. I don't want to do that because you can see the 100% up there. Get you know, up, up, up. I'll do a real quick watch. 100%. No, 100%. 100%. There we go. And then uh, if you do the uh, solar panels, it says if you plug in all 500 watts, it's five hours. I have 300 watts, so that might be about little six, seven hours. Another thing is, is it has great overload protection. So if you plug something in and you hear it go beep, boop, and you get a little LED here, one of these LEDs will start flashing, telling you what's wrong. There's a... Uh, there's an overload protection button right here on the on the left side of the unit that will pop out. And all you do is press it back in again, and then you turn on the AC again. But remember, guys, what do we say when we're watching Starboard Bow review this? Starboard Bow review this is not an expert. But I do read all the instructions, and I request you guys read the instructions. Don't do what I do. Read the instructions and make sure that you, you're taking advantage of this charging station properly so that you can save the charging station and you can save yourself so that's a pretty cool you. box i'll tell you what those of you that have solar panels very simple plug this right into here you, you plug these uh mc4 connector they plug right into your uh solar panels and they take up to six hours to charge it up to 500 watts of solar panels and then there's your ac charger for the wall outlet you plug that right into your wall or any 120 house volts or whatever beautiful unit guys i'm telling you i really I, that's right guys i got my 30 amp to 110 rv adapter plugged into the old acer from my class c 20 foot motorhome and it's popping so let's check it out i'm telling you no more stinky i brought it in here because i can see the led a little better than i can see outside but you can see it all there, right there, perfectly. Okay, I got the TV on, and the TV says 130 watts. Now, is I'm gonna turn the toaster on. Toaster right there, plugged into the AC. 740, 740. Right now, the toaster's running at 745 watts. Hey, but with the toaster, you only have two hours left of usage. That's, of course, we're not gonna run the toaster for two hours, but and let's, the TV's on at the same time. I'm gonna run the microwave so real quick. Okay, let's turn the mic turn the toaster off. Unplug the toaster. Back down the toaster, back down to 130 watts. Now this microwave should not be more than 2,000 watts. I think it's like a 650 watt. I'm gonna run it for five seconds or 10 seconds. See what happens. She's running. Uh, 1170, 1177, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, there goes the microwave, she's done, look at that, boy, I'm telling you, I am totally impressed, 129 watts, runs the microwave, runs the TV, I wonder if I put the, the mic, the, put the refrigerator on electric, let's see, auto, it's AC, it's running AC. Look at that. Microwave, AC, refrigerator, TV, 430 watts, three hours. What if I can... We got this, just the refrigerator running right now. And it looks like 400 watts. And 400 watts, four hours. I don't know about that. That's weird. I guess okay, four hours run the refrigerator. Can't beat that. If you didn't, you know, say the propane dies, I have four, three hours to go and uh, fetch some more propane. I'm in, beat I'm bought, guys. This is a fantastic unit. The only thing I haven't done is charge it with the solar because I don't have an MC4 connector on my 300 watt solar panels, the, the, the Kia's that I have. So I'm bought. This is 12 hours, I got 12 hours of runtime to 
can get that microwave, TV, all that stuff. Cool. Very cool, guys. There you go, Dope. Ace Volt. The Ace Volt 2000 amp. Great product, great box. You have an RV, trailer, tent, whatever it is. You have to have something like this with you. So you can use it to charge up things. You can use it to run any AC product, anything under 2000 amps. Microwaves, TVs, uh, iPads, iPods, phones, anything you have. This thing can handle, I guarantee it. Uh, remember what I said, guys, on Starboard Bow Review This. I just like to review products I think and I recommend for other RVers, other campers. And this Ace Volt 2000 amp, I recommend it. It's a great product. And if you don't have something like this on board, you need to get it. So thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking. Check it out. Ace Volt 2000 amp. Later.